y'all welcome back to my channel so today i am doing a uh, makeup tutorial using some blue iridescent purple colors but i'm also going to be using excuse me using the anastasia beverly hills contour cream kit and this is in dark um i ordered this the other day it was on sale for 25 dollars at macy's with free shipping so i went ahead and jumped on that and i'm going to be using this is my first time using this so I'm also going to do a tutorial, but I'm also going to do like a slight little review at the end of the video once I use this product and see how it works for my skin. So if you guys want to see what look we come up with, then stay tuned and I'll see you in my next video. So first I'll be going in with NYX's eyeshadow base and this is in Skin Tone. I'm using a base. It is lighter than my skin, but you're going to be covering it up anyway, so it's okay to go with a light base. But this just allows for the colors to really be vibrant on your eyes and give yourself a clean, even slate. So I'm going to go in with this Rimmel Scandalized Cold Pencil in Black. I'm just going to put that over my eyelids. This will also serve as a base for the colors that I'll be using coming up as I want them to be very vibrant. So once I place this over my eyelid, I'll then be blending that in so it's not so choppy on the eye. I'm just taking a regular eyeshadow fluffy brush and just blending that in just so it'll have a nice even base. So the first color we're going with is Wet n Wild Jumbo Pencil in Techno. I love using these pencils, they're just easy to um, apply the makeup, you have more control. The only thing is the blending, you do have to blend a lot. But it does make for a quicker application. So here I'm just going like slightly above the crease in the crease and just right above the eyelid. So next I'll be taking this brown color from the Lorac 2 palette and this is like a chocolate brown and I'm just using this to blend out any harsh lines and to also create a smooth transition from my brow bone down to the vibrant iridescent purple blue color. I have to do a lot of blending with this color. So next we're going to go in with one of CoverGirl's single eyeshadows and this is in the color Techno and this is just going all over the lid on top of that black because it is a nice like cool blue color. I wanted to really make it stand out which is why I chose the black base for it. And I'm just blending all of that in. Now you can go in with like a black eyeshadow on your outer crease if you want to deepen the look up a bit. But I just wanted to keep it kind of colorful and vibrant for this look and not necessarily a smoky look. So for my brow bone highlight, I'm taking this Milani shadow. And this is in the color Beach Sand. It does have a little bit of shimmer to it, but I thought it paired nicely with this eye combo. So next I'm going to be going back into the Lorac Pro 2 palette and I'm taking this silver color and that's going to open up my tear ducts a bit and I'm just going to place that in the inner corners. And I'm going in with that same pencil to apply to my waterline. And I'm going back in with that Wet n Wild Jumbo Stick just to kind of pull the look together.
And this is an e.l.f. liquid liner. This is in midnight black, so it has somewhat of a bluish purple tint to it. It's not necessarily black, but it has a little bit of color to it. So moving on to the face for now, I'm priming my skin with the Makeup Forever Step 1. This is a mattifying primer. It's really, really good if you have oily skin. It really mattifies the skin. And then I'll be going in with Maybelline Baby Skin, which is a silicone base. And this just makes the skin a little bit smoother. And I'm just applying that all over as well. So first we're going to do a little bit of color correcting. And I'm using this orange color to cancel out any dark spots. You don't have to color correct if you don't want to. But this is a new palette and I want to try it out. So I'm going to use everything that I can in this palette. So I'm taking the orange color, peachy orange color, to cancel out those dark spots that have the blue undertone. And I'm just blending, blending that into my skin so it doesn't move around once I apply everything else. So moving on to foundation, and I'm using the Lan, excuse me, the Lancome Tint E Doll in 550, and I'm applying that all over my face. And I'm using a patting motion so that it blends into my skin as well. I don't really do a lot of sweeping with products. To me, it just moves it around. But once you have it patted into your skin, then you can start blending it and moving it around with your brush. So next I'm going to go ahead with my highlight and I'm using the light shade and the third lightest shade. And I'm applying this everywhere that I want to highlight. You are also concealing with this as well if you have any dark circles. So I'm going to apply this under my eyelids and I'm moving down into like an arrow shape. And I'll be applying this under my eyes, down my nose, my cupid's bow, my chin, and my forehead. So once I've done the highlight process, I'm then going to go on with the contouring and I use the darkest shade for that and I'm applying that to the hollows of my cheeks. I'll be applying that to the side of my nose, underneath my jawline just to kind of give definition and I'm also applying this across my forehead because I do have a large forehead so I do want to um, contour that out to make it appear just a little bit smaller. So if you do have a small forehead, you don't have to bring it all the way in as I did. But because I have a large forehead, I do want to add a little bit of warmth to the forehead so your attention is not drawn to my entire forehead. So of course we're going to blend all of that in.
and I'm just going over my contour with a powder and I'm using the sleek contour palette in dark and I'm just using that to set the areas that I contour. So for the setting of my highlighted areas, I'm taking Mary Kay's Loose Powder in Bronze 2 and I'm just sweeping that all over my highlighted areas just so I don't get that ghostly effect in pictures. And then lastly, to set everything else to blend your entire look together, I'm taking MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Deep Dark. This doesn't add much coverage, but it does uh, allow for you to blend the entire look together without adding any more color or coverage to your look. So I've applied my eyelashes off camera, and I'm just applying a little bit of mascara. And I believe that was the Makeup Forever Mascara. And I'm using e.l.f. Blush Palette to apply my blush to the apples of my cheek. I'm using the pink color. I'm just going to sweep that in a circular motion over my cheek. Again, you always want to make sure you blend. You don't want anything sitting on top of your skin. You want it to look like it's coming from out of your skin. And for my highlight, I'm actually going back into that Milani eyeshadow and beach sand. I want it more of a shimmery look than a golden look. And this has a bit of a, I guess I should say sparkle. This has more sparkle to it. So you can use eyeshadows and different things for different purposes. And I'm using this eyeshadow today as also for my highlight. So moving on to the lips, I'm taking my favorite lip pencil. This is NYX in brown. And I'll be lining my lips as well as filling them in. And then I'll be taking Wet n Wild Think Pink, which is a very, very bright, bright pink for my skin tone. But putting that brown base down will definitely take away from some of the pink. And then I'll go on top with this Black Radiance. It's a lip gloss slash lipstick combo. And I'm just taking the gloss side just to add a little bit of, you know, juiciness to my lips and it just blends everything together. So I hope you guys like this look that completes the look and I'll see you next time. Okay guys, so this is a look that we came up with and um, so I hope you do like this look. It is a bluish purple iridescent color. I haven't done anything like this on my channel um, prior to to now so I just wanted to play with these colors I thought they were really nice vibrant colors still some summertime colors so that's why I chose to use these colors um okay so the main attraction really was this Anastasia Beverly Hills cream contour kit and I must say I give this an A plus it is I don't know it's amazing um I'm probably using this in most of my tutorials of course I'll and I want to try it without foundation one day because these colors um do have a good concealing effect to them so I'm pretty sure I could use this without a um foundation but for the purposes of this video I did use a foundation so the colors from blue coral cinnamon I use this coral color as a color correcting to cancel out those dark spots. If you saw me, I just patted it lightly on the skin and blended it in just a little bit. And that way, it's kind of in my skin. And when I put on the foundation, it won't move around. The consistency is creamy. Some people said that it's not easy to work with. I don't know about that because it worked just fine for me. I used a brush. I'm pretty sure you could use your fingers, but I did use a brush. So I used these two shades for my highlight. This one is very bright. This one is like 
feels like it will give you a golden look so i chose to mix those two together just a little bit and just apply that you know in all the areas that i highlighted and to me i think it came out pretty good um they want you to some people said to add an oil to this i don't see why you want to add oil to your skin especially if you have oily skin so these work just fine the consistency is great so i love these and then on the bottom from left to right you have chocolate espresso and carob i use the darkest color to do my contour since i did use a foundation i wanted to really like get in there with it so i use the darkest color but i'm sure i could have got away with these two colors maybe if i do like a bb cream or one of those um days where i don't want to wear foundation then i can probably get away with these two colors as a soft contour but other than that, I really do like this product. It retails for $40, but I did get it on sale for $25 and free shipping from Macy's the other day. So kind of just keep your eyes out for it. But it's definitely worth every penny you pay for it. Like I said, I'll be using this a lot. Probably not too much because I don't want it to go to pan really quickly. But I'll be using this a lot. It's a very great product. So yeah, A plus on that if you're wondering about the contour cream kit. And this is in deep. It comes in light, medium, and deep. So deep is perfect for me um also i use these lashes i place my lashes on off camera sometimes it just give me a pain in the butt and surprisingly today i got them on like that it's just i don't know something with my eyes it's just crazy so i like these lashes very lightweight very um airy they don't feel so heavy i do not like a heavy lash i wear contacts and i feel like it irritates my contacts when i have on heavy lashes so i'll probably be purchasing a lot more of these it's called lash Le Charm, Le Charm eyelashes. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. 100% human hair strip lashes, invisible band, and hand tied and feathered. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I got in the color 217 Black. They will buy one, get one free at my local hair store. So I'm pretty sure you can find these at any of your local beauty supply stores. So I, pretty, I, I think I'll be getting these um, more often than not. I got two different kinds, but these are very big and dramatic. So this, to me, I wouldn't wear this like as a daytime lash. This is just something that's very bold and dramatic. But I wanted to use it for the sake of the video so you guys can see how they look. So yeah, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had fun making it. I had fun using these colors. I was so excited to play in my contour kit, which turned out great. So if you guys want to see more videos or if there's anything you guys want me to try out, or if there's any look that you want me to create, I'd be happy to do it for you. And just let me know. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Ciao.